Hello everyone, today I just want to give a quick tutorial on how you can add this glowing frame over any element in your video. Okay, so to start off you have your clip here, this is my element that I want to add a frame around. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it smaller so that I can see the frame. There we go. And then I'm going to go into the fusion tab. Okay, so this is the media and this is connecting it to the actual display. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to add a mask around the actual clip. So I'm going to go to the, the shape of my choosing. I'm going to choose a rectangle or a square, drag it in. I'm going to connect it to the clip and then I'm going to go down here. This is where it actually masks. So you can see this is the width, this is the height. I'm not going to totally restore it because I, like I said, I do want to have space in the frame for the actual, you know, the actual glowing frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it all the way down to this one square. As you can see, there are many different squares here. I don't know if YouTube shows it. So let me make it extreme so you can see. You can see all these squares. So I'm going to use these to measure. I'm going to shrink it all the way down till the first square line, line of squares end. There we go. I'm going to do the same for height. And now you see if we zoom in, we have some nice space. I'm going to zoom all the way out. Here we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a background, a colored background, which is over here. Then I get in. I'm going to click on my clip. I'm going to press shift space. And then I'm going to search for merge. I'm going to click on this. Add. And this allows me to basically merge anything, any other effects, anything else to the actual media. So I'm going to take this background and I'm going to merge it with this clip. And as you can see, the, the default color is black. So I'm going to change this to white because I want it to glow. I'm going to change it to white. And now the color is white. But the problem is obviously it's applying over the whole clip. And I only want it to apply to the outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original mask. I'm going to press command C or control C on Windows and I'm going to click off and I'm going to go command V or control V to copy. I'm going to drag that over here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to attach it to the background. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go all the way over here and I'm going to uncheck solid and now it disappeared. But now what you can do is you can go to the border and there you can see I actually have my colored frame. <clears throat> I'm going to make it only a little thick. And now what I actually want to do is I want to add a nice glow effect to, you know, kind of add to the stylization. Also, if you want to, you can round out the corners. Let me just zoom in here. You can round out the corners. Obviously, you can't overdo it because you didn't round out the corners of the mask from the clip. So what you can do is you can click on the mask for the clip and you can also round it out. That's a bit too much. So I'm just going to slightly bevel. There we go. Click on the other one. I'm also going to just, you know, match it up. I'm going to zoom out again and now what I want to do is I want to add a glow effect to this border so I'm going to go click on background shift space and I'm going to search soft glow this one and immediately you can see this nice soft glow effect this is a bit too much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the glow effect gain is the actual brightness I'm going to bring that lower and glow size is the actual softness you can see it spreads and I don't want it to be too much. I'm just going to add a slight spread like that. And I'm going to make it a bit less bright as well. And threshold is if you have different levels of brightness, threshold controls what kind of brightness level does the area have to be before it starts glowing. So obviously this is just a one straight color. So it, it kind of doesn't really matter. And as you can see, there's a nice glow effect on the frame that you added around your clip. And obviously this means you can go into the clip, go to fusion and click on the background and you can go to color and actually change it to whatever color you really want. Maybe you want it to be red to stand out more. As you can see, not only is it a nice colored frame, it's also a nice glow effect, which you can make a bit more intense if you want as well. I'm going to go to soft glow, make the gain a bit crazier, maybe make the size a bit more noticeable. And as you can see there, this is quite a nice uh, glow effect that you can add, you know, you can use this to add separation to your clips or add a bit of a pop or you can use this to kind of make things more eye-catching for the viewer. Okay, so that's basically the whole tutorial. Hope you guys benefited at all from watching this video and yeah, bye.